Well, welcome to the following workshop, uh, 4.2, looking at the FEA um, model for local mesh controls using ANSYS. So again, uh, the objective here is to look at the method, which is the patch confirming tetrahedrons. We're also going to be applying some face meshing, local virtual topologies, and local inflation as well. So again, here, the first thing what we need to do is drag and drop a mesh. And what we're going to do is we're going to rep um, replace the geometry with the valve SCDOC file. So import geometry browse, and we've got the valve um, file here, open map. And then what we want to do is we're going to then double click on the mesh uh, to have that one up and running. So once the model has imported in, uh, the first thing we want to do is make sure that the units are set to millimeters. Okay. And also that the mesh is mechanical and also the quality is turned to standard mechanical rather than aggressive. Okay. And once we've got that ready, we can move on. And the key thing here is we've got some geometries here that shouldn't be bending. So if you right click and look at um, show um, suitable bodies, you will get that there's no suitable bodies at all. Um, so it's not providing that information. So what we want to do now is look at the setup for advanced size function. So we look at the sizing. Uh, user adaptive sizing, we want to turn that to no. And we want to capture the curvature, so turn that to yes. And leave all the other options as default. Now, we, as I said, with all the other previous uh, models where there's no mesh there, it's the best time to give it the name selection. So if we select this surface here, this face, um, and then obviously here, right click. Um, and give create name selection or press N on the keyboard. And what we want to do is we want to give it the name face and we want to apply same size uh, for those. Uh, apply and if we now open up we can see that only one face um, has been selected where there should be more faces. Yep. We can see one, two, three. And then four. Okay, and you can see that's four faces feed set here as well. So once we want to do, well, we can see this on the worksheet below as well. Um, that's provided down here. Um, we can see that there's added four faces, size equal, um, and it gives all the values that we need. Now, what we want to do is we because it's a complex model, we're going to apply tetrahedral uh, mesh to all of them, uh, nothing sweepable. So you can either press um, right click and select all, or you press Control A um, and it will select all the bodies. But make sure that the body tool is being selected here. So Control A, all bodies have been selected. Right click on the mesh, insert method, and it should say seven bodies, and the automatic should be changed to tetrahedrons. So that's the um, overall uh, patch confirming method applied to the whole body. Um, what we want to do now is we want to insert a body sizing uh, to the middle section here. Um, so again, if you select this body here, right click, insert sizing, um, and the sizing here should be one body, element size should be two millimeters, and the capture curvature um, as well, we want to press yes on that. Um, and leave them as default. Okay, so once we've done that, we want to now select the four remaining pipes um, and we want to put a body sizing on these as well. So select those bodies by using the control, right click, insert, sizing, and again here the body sizing is going to be 0 0.8. And at the same time, we also want to capture the curvature as well. So for those then, so we've got two body sizing. Body sizing one is the main body. And body sizing two are the two uh, the four uh, pipe works that are coming out. Now we've also got this section up here, and what we want to do is rather than putting a body size on that one, we want to insert a fi face sizing uh, for this one. So selection tool one, two, three, and four. So we've got the four face sizing, and here we can then insert sizing, and you can see it um, comes to uh, face sizing, and we've got one point five and capture curvature, yes. 
Okay. So now that we've got body sizing, body sizing two, face sizing, we can move on now to insert the mesh uh, face sizing, sorry, insert a face meshing. Um, so again here, right click, insert uh, face meshing. And what we want to do is we want to change the scoping method to uh, name selection. And here we select the face and rather than um, the internal number of divisions here um, we put a value of two so we've got the face meshing sorted for the face side of things here and also we want to insert a face meshing on this face here as well so um, you can either duplicate and then here where it selects the face we want to change that to geometry selection and here we want to select this face here and press apply and again it's number of divisions it are two so we want to then generate the mesh so generate mesh and here we can see now this is what the mesh looks like um, similar to the work uh, shop files and if we go to the quality um, on the meshing, um, we can look at the mesh matrix and the element quality from the drop down list. And again, here you may have similar values, or they may be slightly a bit different, uh, but in general, they should be okay. So the element quality improvement, so we can improve those. Um, here, for example, if we click on uh, one of these elements, it will identify and show you that due to the model inside um, geometrical parts, it's creating some bad um, elements, um, as you can see here. So what we want to do is we want to select this body um, and then hide this body. So that we can get inside um, and look at the actual um, parts that's causing these problems. So again, here what we want to do is we want to select this body here, um, and we want to put in a sizing, and it should be just one body. The element size should be 2.5, and what we're going to do now here is there's a D feature um, size. Uh, the DV chain size here, we're going to put 0 0.2. Um, and that should be done there. And in the quality details of the mesh, we want to change the error limits to aggressive mechanical and set the target to 0 0.3. So again, if you go onto the mesh, uh, go to the quality, and in here, change that to aggressive mechanical, and also the target quality, we want to change that to 0 0.3 and change the smoothing to high. Now, once we've done this, uh, we can update the mesh. So generate. And what you'll find is that the quality is a little bit more better now. Um, we can turn back on the uh, show all bodies. Uh, show all bodies. And if we go to wireframe, you'll be able to see a lot more clearly what's actually happening inside your model as well. So also what we want to do is we want to give it some name selections. Um, so turn that back on. We can zoom in to these holes. And what we're planning to do now is to create some inflation around these holes. So again, if you select face, select this face here, press N on the keyboard and give it a um, apply the same size and call it hole one holes one press ok and what you will find is that there is 64 faces uh, for these holes and we can see them that wherever there are these holes very similar size they will apply the same boundary name condition for those as well so creating the inflation, the name selection contains 64 faces. In order to filter, we must uh, search for a criterion, um, hide the mesh. So by hiding the mesh here, 
we can look into one of these here um, and zoom in and we can then use this um, hit point coordinate um, and what we can see here is the Z is roughly so the it's got the X Y Z uh, components so we can see roughly it's about um, 27 millimeters uh, from the front to the back end so now that we know this 27 millimeters what we can do is we can create the inflation in the worksheet of whole one main selection so what we do is here we add a, um, a new approach filter face location is going to be Z the actual uh, thing was going to be greater than and then M is in millimeters and then this value here we put 27 um, and then press enter so we got those and then you press generate so now uh, the name selection you can see it doesn't go all the way through it goes only up until 27 millimeters and not all the way through to the other end Okay, so now that we have that sorted, we can then move on to the inflation. So what we want to do is create inflation. The name selection contains eight faces now, so we can confirm that. Yep, that's true. And what we want to do now is apply the um, inflation. So creating inflation. So creating inflation with the details I showed below. So what we want to do is go to the um, inflation. So insert inflation. And we make sure our tool selection is deactivated on this. So we select this body, um, press apply. And here, what we want to do is change this to name selection. Um, and then here, it's going to be whole one. Or holes one. Now there is no OK button here. You have to press Enter on the keyboard to select holes one. And we're going to change this to total thickness three, and then it's going to be one millimeter thickness. Press Enter. Now what you would need to do is also um, introduce um, your edge sizing. Uh, for these so it's very important that we select those edge sizes so here we insert mesh insert sizing make sure the edge tool selected we select all of these three four six seven eight so a edge applied and we're going to change the element size to number of divisions and change that to eight. And you can see by zooming in, it's given us, um, sorry, not eight, uh, 20. Uh, we can see that it's provided 20 uh, divisions. And it's very important that we change the behavior to soft and hard. And the difference between these two is that once we put hard in, they will always stay as 20 if it's soft anything else that is set as hard can actually have an effect on the uh, number of divisions here and how it's spread. So again, now here we want to put a uh, face meshing um, onto the name selection of holes ones. So again, mesh insert face meshing. Here we're going to change that to name selection, change this to holes one. And you can see that they've all been highlighted um, as normal. So what we want to do now next is create inflation. So um, press generate. And now as you can see, the inflation has been applied um, inside um, and around the holes as well. Okay, thank you very much. Um, we can now move on to the next workshop.